on a cloud and fell her eight miles high. I told my mind on a jagged sky. I just dropped in to see what condition my condition was in. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, what condition my condition was in. Hey, this is Jeff from Hagen's Alley. Um, today we're going to be talking about a homebrew game. A homebrew game from RetroUSB.com. Uh, one of the premier homebrew um, releasers in the world. Uh, basically, they're the site that I first found Battle Kid Fortress Apparel through back in the day. Really awesome. Um, every year, RetroUSB does a special cartridge. Uh, it's called 8-Bit Xmas, and they usually put the year. So this year, 2015, has a Christmas tree on it. A little Super Mario Brothers star on the top. Uh, really cool. And there is a mini game associated with the cartridge every year. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do this year is I'm going to fire it up and check her out. So just to give off the ambiance of Christmas. Decided to try to use my Famicom um, 2, which is the AV Famicom, and that way you can see the amazing Christmas lights. Look at that ridiculousness. So, just watching simply the actual footage. You won't be able to get the awesome Christmas display. Um, one thing is when you're playing this game, the lighting right here is going to change from red to or, or from green to orange to red, depending on how much time you have to get up to the top of the screen. A pretty cool little tidbit, something that's not been used in an Apex Xmas yet. All right, so let's play her. All right, so this is a little platformer game where you're pressing around presents. You press the B button to kill your presents so you can use it to jump up. Uh, it says I completed so poorly. <laughs> Hilarious. So, so there's a little one-liner every time you complete a level, depending on how well you do. And you can press them. Ah, probably gonna yell at me. And the light is turning red. Oh, got it. Smile more. Pain is fun. Nice. And you notice I started on level three. Can I get up there? Nope. So what I'll do is I'll build a little, there we go, so many lives, what a waste. Basically the key here is to do this as quickly as possible, and with as little lives as possible. Definitely no um, amazing Christmas music on the title screen, but it's lacking from the actual game, which is fine. But if there were some like quiet Christmas tunes playing or something, that would put this game over the top. Over the top. Of course. I probably am going to have to waste another life here. So, this is a game. So many lives would have waste. I wasted three. Um, so, definitely an interesting version of the game. Die. <laughs> ha! Turning orange. Ah. So... See, that's the one thing you don't see from a screenshot, is you don't see the cartridge changing colors. It actually brings upon... <laughs> I keep dying, yes. 
Uh, but it actually brings upon a sense of urgency. Ah! Makes me want to move a little quicker. And I keep dying because of it, so... That's an awesome sense. Ah. So fast. So, basically, what I'll do here is I'll play the first ten levels. Look at that, the Burma Shave. Oh god, platforming massacre. Let's see if I can get through this platforming massacre. Oh! <laughs> ah! This is, uh, extremely difficult, but fun. Son of a... It's the little... You gotta realize if you notice. Alright, so there we go. Start some music up. So basically, this game right here is a really cool little platformer that Retro USB developed for Christmas. Pretty amazing. Um, and yeah, so this might be the most fun that I've had with an 8-bit Xmas card that's come out so far. Um, it's just a little platformer, and if you notice in the bottom here, there's times and lives, which means, essentially, you can shoot to break your high score, and the game saves. Because I was playing this last night, and I played past level 10, and as you can see, it kept score. So really cool. Um, there's a hundred of ninety-nine levels, hundred levels, um, and you can tell I haven't played all of them. But there's a hundred levels, so I showed a very small fraction of what's available in this game. If you press select, you get other music. So, a production is still as always a high quality product from Retro USB shows that their true passion lies in homebrew game development. Um, I know within the next year they're going to be releasing the ABS. Um, it's, I think it's called the Advanced Video Game System, and it's going to allow you to play Nintendo on an HDTV. Now you got to realize, I played it on my HDTV here, and there was lag. Slightly. And that's why in level 10 I kept falling off the platform. The AVS isn't going to have that. Um, now, the price range, I don't know what the price range is going to be, but to be able to play without lag on an HDTV is something that would be amazing, but that's not all that it's going to have. The most, the coolest thing that it's going to have that I've seen is it's going to have this thing called the scoreboard embedded into it, which will allow you to hook it up to a computer and transmit any Nintendo score that's in their database to NintendoH.com and you can compete with other people around the world to set high scores live off of your NES. Um, so, I mean, that just sounds like competitive fun and actually will expand the life even further of the NES, which is awesome. Um, in the end, though, back to 8-Bit Xmas. Um, amazing game. Uh, highly recommended, and if you're looking to get some of these earlier at 8-Bit Xmases, they will cost you a pretty penny, so please go on RetroUSB.com if you're interested, and purchase it before the end of the year, because once the end of the year hits, uh, Brian is going to stop making these cartridges, and then they become expensive. Alright guys, take it easy.